So uh, first of all, I'd like to correct some inaccuracies in the last lecture. So I consider that uh, so abelian category and then uh, category of complexes, and then uh, there are so homotopy category. Uh, actually, there there is like like this. So oh, of course. By directly, I can I can construct this by 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 localization. But actually, the proof goes uh, through this, and uh, and uh, so my my inaccuracy was uh, the notation on the complex. So if if A and B are complexes, so in, in here, and then there is so-called inner complex. So this is again complex. And so each term is the direct sum of uh, like this. So, so each term a home n a shift degree by n. So this is a in so-called inner home. And so if I so the, then the, this this complex has derivation, and this is uh, nothing but uh, derivation of b. Uh, so d of f. So if I take f here, f here, then derivation of f my n minus f and the dA. So yeah, by f I I go from a to b, but to e in each degree, and then take derivation by b, and then I take the difference. Yeah. So that means that uh, this is cycle. So this means f inside home n a b such that d f is zero. This is nothing but home of a to b shifted by n in in complex. Yeah. So uh, the, this uh, complex category has two homes. So this is, this is the usual home. So that means uh, the in, in each degree, degree is preserving, but uh, they are compatible of the differential. Compatible with differential means that uh, df is zero. <coughs> so this equality holds. And then uh, what is homology of Maybe this is okay. Okay. so. This was Z N of home dot A B. Sorry. So this is home dot A B. So what is this? This is home of K A of A B N. So why is this? This is uh, so if so so Hn is of course Zn divided by boundary Bn minus one and uh, B Bn. The boundary means that uh, this is the image of uh, n minus one thing, and that is nothing but the homotopy. So Bn is image. Of from n minus one a b. So uh, this gives you homotopy. So so this this category is so called homotopy category, and the morphisms are uh, morphism of complex 
uh, modulo homotopy equivalence. So this is uh, the um, more precise explanation on the complexes. So I, I didn't uh, explain this. So for example, if I take uh, so K injective resolution, then so R home of maybe B. AB is from a dot in in this sense. Yeah. So if I take injective resolution, so K injective resolution, then I I have a, a derived home in this way. Yeah. So this was so derived home is uh, the image is again a complex. And the complex defined as uh, in this way. So then you get the uh, uh, derived home. Yeah. And also I, I had some error in the exp explanation of the derived factor. So, uh, so suppose that there is, an, so first I have a factor from A to B, and then from complex to complex B, and then uh, there is localization QA and QB to derived category like this. And so the statement, so, so this is F extended to complexes, and this is derived function, uh, left, right derived function. So I assume that this is left exact. Then there are two composition, composition functors. And the, and the statement is that there is morphism of functors. So morphism of functors from uh, QBF to uh, RFQA. So this is the statement. And this morphism is not isomorphism, but the universal. Universality holds. Yeah. For, for example, suppose uh, there is a morphism of algebraic varieties. So suppose this is a, a projective morphism. Then you have the direct image factor from, from uh, maybe Q Koch X to Q Koch Y. So direct image factor. Then uh, you have a light, light derived functor from D of Q Koch to D of uh, Q Koch. And uh, the statement says that there is a func func uh, morphism of functors from F star to RF star. And this is universal morphism of functors. So if you start with uh, left exact functor, then you can extend this to right higher, higher direct image functors. And so, in, so if you take homology, H0, HF star, and then this is equal to F star. So in this way, so you have a morphism of functors. So this is the derived functor. So sorry, I, uh, for errors and inaccuracies in the previous lecture. Is there any question? No? Yeah. Okay. 
So then uh, I start the today's talk. So the schedule is like this. So first I so I I prove Brown representability. So as I advertised uh, long before, this is uh, this shows the power of uh, the derived category method. Yeah. And uh, secondly, I explain semi-orthogonal decomposition. So this may be denoted by SOD for short from from now. So uh, this is the main topic. And then I'll, I'll explain uh, examples and applications. So the, yeah, this, uh, this depends on the time. And uh, yeah, yeah. So now I, I'll explain the proof of the Brown representability theorem. So first I, I, exp I recall the statement, but uh, this statement is uh, slightly different. So uh, last time I, I said that this is the existence of right adjoint, but uh, first uh, I prove more simpler version. So this version is like this. So theorem. So suppose that T is compactly generated a triangle to the category. Triangle category. For example, D of Q of X for a projective variety. Or well, quasi projective variety. And uh, suppose that F is a functor from T0 to T, uh, TO. This is opposite. Opposite func category to uh, category of uh, abelian groups. So, abelian groups. And this is cohomological functor. So that means, uh, <coughs> that means if you have a distinguished triangle ABC, A1, then what you get is uh, F C F B F A and F C one F C one sorry sorry F C minus one and so on. So this is cohomological factor. So this is exact. If this is distinct triangle, this is exact. So and assume that the this functor send coproduct to product. Then it is representable. In the sense that f of a is form of b a, so there exists some b. Sorry, maybe this is not so visible. So the statement is that there exists some object in T such that uh, this holds. So this is called the representable functor. Uh, no, no, so A, B, A, B. So, A, B. So, uh, so this is contravariant with respect to A, and uh, so yeah, F, A equals form A, B. Yeah. So, only the condition is that the coproduct go to product. So this is very simple uh, condition. 
and that already is sufficient to uh, prove the representability, but only for compactly generated category. And uh, so many interesting categories are not compactly generated. So this, this one is okay, but uh, we are more interested in this kind of co category. So this has much more finiteness and much more interesting, but this doesn't ha this, this is too small. So it doesn't have co-product. So, so that, yes? So uh, in the assumption part about this respect to co-product, do you suppose that the index is a small category or maybe? A small category, small category, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Small, 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 yeah, small co-product. Co of course, uh, small means very huge, so. <laughs> 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 but uh, for uh, logically, it is small. small. Small means just to index by set, so arbitrary set. Okay, so uh, so I use homotopy co limit. So B will be homotopy co-limit of bi. So, and the bi is, co BI is uh, constructed by induction from i. So, uh, first, what is b0? But need, I need u0 first. u0 is just a disjoint union of fa for all a inside compact, uh, so for all, I take all compact object, so this is compact, all compact object and uh, the, so the value and just disjoint union. So it is not a uh, group. And then B0 is the coproduct of for all uh, pair of A. So U0 is a set of all, so A, A is uh, compact and X is an element in FA. And for each pair, I, I just take one a copy of A and take all coproduct. So this is a huge, huge uh, coproduct. And then, uh, so I, I have a fixed element, x0, this is, uh, no, no, sorry, so I, I define x0 in the image of b0 in the following way. So, so if, so what is FB0? FB0 is the product of, of all FA. Yeah. So be, by the assumption it, it becomes product. So each, each index, so at XA, I take X inside FA. And in this way, I have uh, X0. So this is a kind of tautological element. And so I, so, so we, we shall construct bi and xi, where xi will be in fbi by induction. And so, but uh, by Yoneda, Yoneda's lemma, So x0 corresponds to phi0 from fb0 to f. This is morphism functors. So this is representable functor. So fb0 is a functor which is like this. So home of ab0. So this, this is uh, the functor corresponding to object. 
And so Yonada's lemma says that uh, that our category T is embedded into the category of functors from home T to a group. So this is Yonada's lemma. And here I have phi zero and really uh, Yeah, yeah. Both are, so phi, phi zero is here, hmm? yeah, so phi zero, hmm? no, no, F, F, so if B zero and F are here, and the phi zero is just uh, uh, home in here. So this is category, and uh, so ho home inside home. And so home, home in T, maybe, uh, so, so, Sorry. So here I have B0, and the corres corresponding thing is FB0. Yeah. And so FB0 corresponds to home of FB0 to F. Is it? Is it? Hmm? Uh, because uh, there is home from B0 to B0 and uh, so if there is home here, then the identity corresponds to x0 here. And so, but uh, Yonada's lemma says that if you have I x0 here, then uh, maybe this is not the Yonada's lemma itself. Yeah, you know, the name is just uh, free faithfulness. But uh, this is extended version, yeah. In, anyway, by this correspondence, so if, if there is uh, x0, then I get the home like this. So if you have, uh, so if b0a, and then this is nothing but the home of a, B, 0, and then uh, you have uh, F, B, 0, B, 0, this is home of B, 0, B, 0, then, uh, so if you have uh, this, then, so if you take F, then uh, by A to B, then you get a b0 by f so I, I mean from a to b0 then then uh, what is this maybe I don't need this uh, hmm? what I was want I wanted to show what what is this so x0 if I have x0, then I have phi here, phi here, and then for this purpose, what I needed is from A to F A. Yes, and for if I have this, then uh, 
from uh, f f is contravariant so f0 go to a by ff and here i have uh, x x yes x zero so i have here yeah and in this way so if i have here f goes to the image ff x zero sorry so, sorry <laughs> The confusion. In this way, the, there is a correspondence. Okay. So, so it's a straightforward, but somehow uh, confusing sometimes. But that, so, also the but the argument looks confusing. But it, so the the way is that uh, just is. Is, so Yonada's lemma's idea is that any object is considered to be functor, and so morphism functor corresponds to morphism of object. So if you have morphism functors, then you have uh, something like this. So it, it is there is one-to-one -one correspondence. That's so, so in this way, it is Yonada's lemma in a broader sense. Okay, sorry. So now. So now, so suppose that A is compact, then uh, phi zero A from 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 A B zero to F A is subjective. So. Why is this? So, if I have a to b zero, so here the in this in this product a was only compact object. So if I, a is compact, then so for arbitrary x inside f a, I have uh, some index, and correspondingly, x zero uh, goes to x. So in this way. So this is subjective. So for any element x is an uh, image of something here. Yeah. In this way. Now, so I assume assume that uh, so B i and X i are already constructed. And I, I want to proceed next step, and so and x i corresponds to phi i from f b i to f. So this is a kind of appro approximation. So first appro approximation was phi zero, but uh, so as you will see later that uh, this approximation become better and better, and uh, at the limit they they agree. Okay. So, so, yeah, let u i plus one is the disjoint union again for all uh, compact object of the kernel of phi phi i a from from a b i. To FA, yeah. and then uh, K i plus one is the co-product of all pair X A inside U i plus one of A. So this is similar to to the previous construction, and then. And then, so, so I have k i from k i plus one to b i. So k i plus one is the uh, un 
uh, coproduct of these A's, and this the index set is the kernel. So it is smaller than this. So that in that way, there is a natural map. So, so because uh, uh, yeah. So if you have if you have a kernel, then you have here, but. But then, uh, this is. So if, if this is kernel, then hmm? is this is this uh, okay? Uh, uh, Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Now, now I understand. So, this term is from A to A. And then, so, but each term X, so X, X, X sends A to BI. Yes. And this is a coproduct. So only finitely many are non-zero. So by taking some, so you get here to here. So this is mi mixes uh, the uh, different coordinates. Yeah. Sorry, and this is uh, a bit confusing, but uh, this is maybe for expert this is not a problem. And then bi plus 1 is defined to be the cone of this map. Yeah. And so there's a distinguished triangle ki plus 1 to bi to bi plus 1, and like this. And this is ki, and this is denoted by bi. So the construction is like this. So I take so so this was the approximation of f and if i take the kernel so the difference in some sense and then here if i take the quotient then it it is a kind of a quotient and i said that uh, this is already subjective so this is subjective at each a so if i take the kernel then it approximate more And then, so F K A is from F B I to F K I plus one. So this is contravariant, and this is by assumption. This is product of F A for for x a inside u i plus one, yeah, and f k i of x i, so x i is in here, is zero because k uh, phi i a of x was zero inside fa so k ki was the kernel so the image in here is zero 
Okay. So then, so then there exists uh, xi plus 1 inside FBI such that FBI of xi plus 1 is equal to xi. So this is the long exact sequence attached to f. So the long exact sequence uh, comes from like this, from this thing is triangle, and so this goes to zero. So this here I have x plus one. So this this is just choice. So this is not unique, but I, I take just one. Yeah. So. Of course, uh, as, as I said, the co-limit is not factorial, so everything is not, not so uh, factorially uh, per 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 perfect argument. So there are a lot of ambiguities in the, in the argument, but still the limit is the same. Okay. So it follows that uh, so x, uh, xi plus 1 corresponds to Functor phi i plus 1 uh, from uh, f bi plus 1 to b uh, uh, to f, and there is also bi tilde which corresponds to bi from bi 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 was here, so the functor is like this bi to f bi plus 1, and so phi phi i plus 1 and bi tilde is equal to phi i. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Hmm? Uh, uh, so, 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 different order. i plus 1, bi tilde. So in this way, I, I can go to the next step. Sorry, it's a lo long, long proof, but uh, this proof is the longest, I think. And then I, I take the uh, homotopy co-limit. So this was B. So that was uh, defined by this thing is triangle. So homotopy co-limit. So correspondingly, so there is uh, so since f is cohomological functor, I have this exact sequence, and so th this was identity minus shift. So this is identity minus shift, and here there was xi. Uh, so, of course, this is direct product, uh, uh, no, no, uh, a pro direct product, and here I have xi, and xi is sent to uh, xi minus xi minus 1 bi. Yes. Yeah. And this is, uh, by definition, this is zero. Okay, so this was bi. So uh, bi, bi plus one. So since this is exact, so I have here x. And, and correspondingly, so there is morphism of functors from FB to F. So now uh, what I need to prove in the, rest, in the rest of the proof is that this is equivalent isomorphism of functors. I should, I should prove that phi is uh, functor isomorphism. And then so, 
Isomorphism means that phi a from fb a to fa is isomorphism. So I, I have to prove this one, yeah? But, uh, so I, I can prove this, prove this when a is compact. And I will prove that this is sufficient. So uh, this is sufficient because the category, the big category is compactly generated. So this is again a um, nice trick. So, but uh, now if A is compact, then I have, uh, so the, the construction uh, will tell you this, this isomorphism easily. So, so I need to prove that this is bijective. So first, subjectivity. is proved because home, home of A, B, 0 go to home A, B, B, I, or B, B, and F, A, because B is the limit, so from B to B, B, 0 to B, there is a natural map, and this is a com a commutative uh, or, yeah, so uh, this map, so this is natural map, and this is natural map, and this is natural map, and commute. But I, I, I said that this is subjective. So this is also subjective. Yeah. So this is subjectivity. So now, Finally, injectivity. Injectivity. So, from A B to F A, and from A B, so this is the direct limit of home ABI. So now, uh, so in the previous lecture, I proved that if for compact object, coproduct is behave very well. So copro uh, homotopy colimit, so, so only. Homotopy colimit is uh, not, uh, not, fun not, not universal. So it doesn't satisfy universality, but if you restrict to compact object, then this satisfies universality. So that means this is colimit. So the colimit go to here, injective. So suppose that there is F in the kernel of ABI, oh, sorry, from ABI to FA. So suppose that there is a kernel, then <coughs> no, sorry. First of all, uh, first uh, if if f is kernel, so f, f is f is here and in the kernel. But uh, since this is direct limit, then this is represented by from A B I. So this is represented by this kind. Yeah, because it is direct limit. So there is something in the finite stage. Yeah. But then uh, but then there is that means that there is uh, K I inside K I plus one. So remember, this is the home set is like this. Yeah. Ah, so this is home home of A K I plus one. So because K I plus one was a, uh, the kernel. Yeah. 
and then and then so and then the image so bi oh, okay. bi fi is zero inside home of a bi plus one so this is again the definition of so k ki plus one go to bi and bi plus one And this is this thing is triangle. So the image is zero. So that means f is zero. So this is injectivity. So this finishes this uh, isomorphism in the case of a compact ob object. And finally, the theorem is proved by the following lemma. So let T as before and T dash and is a subcategory, triangulated subcategory such that this contains all compact object and also a closed and a coproduct. And isomorphism. Then T T dash is T. So yeah. So so this this isomorphism is proved for compact object. But uh, if I take the coproduct of uh, any A's, then a coproduct commute is uh, so coproduct is sent to product by F B and also F. So this, this isomorphism is extended to the coproduct, and also isomorphism uh, doesn't matter. So T dash is a category of such A's such that phi uh, isomorphism. And if I, so if I prove this lemma, then the theorem is finished. Now, the, this lemma is easy, but it's uh, amusing also. So suppose that B is arbitrary object, and then, then, the, then the first part of the proof, FB from T dash to Abelian group, so this is cohomological functor. There exists P dash in T dash such that B dash to uh, with, with morphism such that F B dash A is isomorphic to F B A for compact A. So because T dash is uh, has coproduct, so any coproduct is in, in T dash and T is compactly generated. So T dash is also compactly generated. Yeah. Because uh, the generator is also contained in T dash. So this T dash satisfies the assumption of the uh, theorem. And then B dash, uh, no, B defines a cohomological functor on T dash. So this is cohomological functor. Oh, sorry, uh, this is written here. Okay. So, and then if if I apply the previous part of the theorem, there exists some object. So, this, 
this is this is unit that's then. So for FB, I have FB dash and the morphism such that this is isomorphism for all compact objects. Okay. And then for this morphism, I take a, the third object. <coughs> so by use, using a tri triangulation. And then, so if FB dash A go to FB of A and FA, FC, FC of A and so on. FB dash A one minus one, uh, one minus one and so on. And this is isomorphism, and this is again isomorphism. So this is zero. So from C A is zero. Hmm? Sorry, A C. A C is zero for all A. That means that C is zero. It was compactly generated. Yeah. So this is the last step. So in the triangular category, so there is uh, no, not many methods, but taking the cone is always uh, is, is, uh, uh, provides always some help for the for proceed for going forward. Yeah. Okay, this is the end of the proof of the. Uh, Brown representability theorem. So is there any question? Okay. So now, as, as application, there is the right adjoint existence of right adjoint. So again, this is uh, compactly generated, and F is a functor to another functor. And suppose that F coproduct is coproduct, then so this is as assumed. Then there exists right adjoint. So from from in T dash of F A B is is isomorphic to form T A G B like this. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So the proof is immediate. So take any B, then you have uh, the functor F B F. So this is functor from T to A B. Uh, maybe this is not so visible. Maybe. So if B compose F from P to A B and by the Brown representability theorem it is represented so he this this functor send coproduct to coproduct and this functor send coproduct to product. So the composition satisfies Brown representativity. So this is equal to F C for some C in T. So the functor G send B to C. Yeah. So this is object level functor. And now if you have a morphism B to B dash in T dash, 
then uh, there, there is morphism functors from fb, f2, fb dash, f, and then uh, the morphism of object from c to c dash. Yeah. So in this way you have, so if this is g, b, and this is g, c dash. So, so automatically you get morphism of objects here. And this, this sends morphism to morphism. So this is functor. So this is the brown, brown representability theorem. Okay, so existence of G, existence of G is a, so existence of C for example for, for first, and then for B to B dash the the C and the C dash, and then the morphism is uh, because there is morphism of functors, and so by Yoneda, so if you have morphism of functors, then you have morphism of objects. So this is Yoneda. Okay. Okay. Now the main application of this is the following theorem by Gotandik. <coughs> So let f from x to y is a projective morphism of schemes. Then there exists f upper shriek, this is right adjoint of the direct image factor. And the proof is that the direct image factor send Co-product to pro co-product, so this is th just that. So yeah. co-product co is just uh, co-product in the, in the case of uh, so this is of course from D of Q coherent X to D of Q coherent Y, and in this category co-product co is just the direct sum. So direct sum is sent to direct sum, and this is, uh, uh, of course, uh, clear. So, so, so direct image functor satisfies the assumption of the Brown representability. So, so there is a joint functor. But why this is uh, important? So it is su sufficient. So usually there is so-called uh, dualizing complex. Dualizing complex is the following. So if X is a projective variety or scheme, projective scheme, then there is a, there is a over K, then uh, there is a so ba ba basic map to the base scheme. And here you have this constant shift on D of K. Yeah. And then if upper shrink of K is called dualizing complex on X. And if X is smooth, smooth projective, then dualizing complex is equal to canonical shift shifted by the dimension of x. And so this is the usual dualizing shift. And so Grothendieck's proof use uh, this, uh, essentially the, he, what he used is the knowledge of uh, omega x beforehand. So we, we knew this already. Well, long time ago, so cell duality and so on. So we knew that this is dualizing shift. And by using this fact, he, used, he applied a geometric argument to prove this in the, in the lecture note, uh, residue and the duality, written by Hart Schoen. But his proof is not uh, very nice and very complicated. But uh, uh, the, 
this uh, way of brown representability was uh, proved by Amnon Niemann and uh, in the introduction of his paper he says that the Grothendieck proof is not a uh, right one in his proof is a right one yeah it is yeah yeah see do you think it's brown representability? Why we need a project with more people for this proof? Uh, excuse me? So, to, to brown representability give a new proof? Yes, people. yes. But then why need a project with more people in the proof? Ah, so, so the point is only, yeah. For, for example, if you have a quasi-projective morphism, then you need uh, uh, more, but uh, similar proof works, but uh, then uh, you need to uh, have a compact support uh, image, something like that, yeah. So, th yeah, you need modification. Yeah. So, but uh, wh why this is sufficient? So, for example, so, so if you want to apply the Grothendieck reality theorem, usually wh what you need is really the adjointness, so yeah, like this. So, but but uh, also you have a junction formula. So if you have a divisor, so divisor, then so k of x plus y restricted to y is k of y. So this is a very important adjunction formula. But uh, this follows from duality. Uh, why? Uh, so this is project morphism. So this is, so embedding is like this. So then, so home of, so, Y to omega x dot is isomorphic to home of O Y. So this is O Y, this is O X and omega Y dot. So this is uh, duality. Yeah. Because uh, this uh, of course this uh, so have a so com with composition, you have y to x to k, and of course this is commutative. So from here, if you pull back like this, then you get this, and then pull back again, you get this. Okay, and then, but this is nothing but on y itself. So. Yeah, so so this is nothing but O x d max. Hmm? What is this? Yeah, sorry, something is wrong. So. Oh, okay. So why, why you call? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, uh, did, 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 yeah. Uh, did, did. So this is this O Y is a shift on Y, but this O Y is a shift of O X module. Yeah, and so on X. Actually, this O Y. satisfied this exact sequence OX minus Y to OX and OY. So, so this OY is actually uh, this part. So, yeah, so home OY to omega X dot goes to home X, X dot home 
or x minus 1 on stop and on Not one, yeah. yeah. So, but the, this is just omega x. Not if I if I if I replace this. So I, actually actually I, I can replace this by home curly home. So because uh, I yeah. So suppose that y is fine. Well, uh, of course, this kind of construction is uh, factorial, so I can glue, glue this. But locally, locally, this is just omega x, and this is just omega x dim x. So what I get is the following. So omega x, maybe, n to omega x y n and omega y and Something is uh, strange. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. So this is. So this should be this. So this. So. So I mean. So n minus one plus one. So here one, but the dimension of y is n minus one. Yeah. So this kind of exact sequence is. Yeah. So this is usual a junction exact sequence. So uh, why I show this? Because uh, so more generally the so if if y is more general sub variety, but still omega y can be deduced from omega x. So, so for arbitrary variety, the dualizing complex can be con can be calculated from this and uh, the knowledge of embedding. And if if you if x so for example any any project variety can be embedded into projected space. And if you know the dualizing complex here, then you can calculate the dualizing complex here. So in this way, everything can be computable by using this duality theorem. Yeah. So that was what I wanted to say. And then, uh, is there any question? Sorry. And then I, I'd, I'd like to go to semi-orthogonal decomposition. So se semi orthogonal decomposition is the following. So, so I, I definition definition is the following. So A is B uh, no, C, C and B. So this is semi orthogonal decomposition if first C is B right orthogonal and secondary P C generate A. And that means so this means that C in A so this is a full subcategory so I just to say uh, explain the set of object so home B C zero. So the first condition is the semi-orthogonality, semi and second condition is that by two 
two things, I can generate the, the model. So there is example. Suppose f is a morphism from x to y. This is birational morphism of smooth projective varieties. Then there is semi orthogonal decomposition of dBx by C and dBy, where C is the subcategory of dBx consisting of a cyclic with respect to F. So, yeah, and uh, yeah, so the, the proof is like this. So, th there is pullback functor from dBy to dBx such that pullback and push down, so maybe L, L is identity. So pull back and push down, you get uh, you get the uh, uh, same shape. Uh, the reason is that here I, I assume smooth, smooth projected. So in this case, the derived category is generated by locally free sheaves. So you can assume that everything is locally free. And if it is locally free, then the pull back is locally free, and push down again, you get the, uh, the original locally free sheaf. So go up and down, you get nothing changed. So that this is this way, and it follows that so L, LF star is fully faithful. So it was home of LF star A and LF star B is equal to A and RF star LF star B is equal to home AB. So I have subcategory and also subcategory. So, so here LF star is left adjoint of the direct image functor. In the previous duality theorem, if upper streak is right adjoint of direct image functor. Yeah, so right functor has right adjoint upper streak and left adjoint. Yeah, like this. Okay. So, so this is, th these are two subcategories. And then they are semi orthogonal because home of home of LF star A and C is equal to home of A F lower star C and this is zero if C belongs to C. So they are semi orthogonal And finally, the, the, they generate the whole category because uh, so there is uh, a junction map. So if for arbitrary A in DB of X, I, get, I have uh, so A to F RF star LF star A. So like this, and then I, I can take cone. So this is distinguished triangle. Yeah, and then if I take RF star with everything, then RF star A goes to RF star. Hmm? 
Sorry. Yeah, the order is different. What? Hmm? Why, why is this? Uh, so, hmm? yeah, order is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, that's right, that's right. LF star, RF star, A to A. Yeah. And then this is, yeah, yeah. And then I, I take LF star, RF star A go to RF star A go to RF star C and uh, this is uh, this thing is triangle and uh, this is uh, identity so this is isomorphism so that means this is zero so in this way uh, arbitrary arbitrary A is decomposed into the pullback. So this, this belongs to dB of y, and this belongs to c. So A is decomposed into two parts, so they, they generate. So in this way, the, there is semi orthogonal decomposition. And so, uh, another example, very similar example, but in this case, this is just a projective birational morphism. And I assume that if RF star OX is equal to OY, only this. So in this case, I have a similar also on the composition, but only big bigger category. So unbounded, unbounded derived category. Well, maybe C tilde. C tilde is the same as before, so D Q Koch X such that R F star A is zero. And so the proof is very similar, but I don't I cannot have a locally free resolution. So in the smooth case, if y is smooth then any bounded, uh, so any any object in this bounded derived category has finite free resolution. But uh, in the singular case, they don't have any finite free resolution. But uh, they have always k project k projective resolution. So k projective resolution each time is. Uh, locally free. So, and the locally free case, locally free shift, maybe P, so RF star, LF star, P is isomorphic to P. So, on Y. So, pull back and push down is identity. So, the same argument works for locally free sheaf. But since k projective resolution exists only in the bigger category, so I need to consider bigger category. So this is a disadvantage. And this shows that the bigger category is much more uh, easy, easier. But this doesn't reflect the geometry of x. So so for example in the in the case of in the case y has quotient singularity it is better to consider not db of koch y but db of koch y tilde which such that so y tilde is the 
So, дори не малко да стак. So, stack. So, this is smooth дори не малко да стак. Associated to y. So, this quotient, quotient thing, so if, if y has quotient singularity, then locally they, they have op, uh, smooth covering. And by using the smooth covering, so I, I cannot explain this more precisely because uh, the time is all over already. But uh, by using this, I have a very, very, very good uh, parallelism between the minimum model program and the variety, uh, the derived category. But uh, if, if I use this, then such subtle, subtle theory disappear and uh, always so this condition is uh, almost nothing in the minimum model program. So in the minimum model program, the singularity up here is always rational singularity. So this always satisfy. But uh, so this is too rough uh, theory. So it's better to consider stack in this case. But uh, so ne next time, I, I still want to consider the singular category. And so recently, the, it is uh, still good theory for this instead of stack. So previously, I thought that this stack theory is better than the singular theory itself. But uh, in the singular case, also there is something uh, good theory. So I, I will explain that in the last lecture. Okay, thank you very much.